Hello everyone. We put up two vlogs this past week. The first one was our regular day-by-day uh, -day vlog and the other was our first trip to the Antler Hill Village at the Biltmore State. People, if you drink too much Beverly, this is what it does to you. Yes! That's a good one! Well, hello everyone. It is Sunday, August 14th, 2022. She loves books with farm animals, especially cows. And did you see last week's vlog where she actually got to see cows for the first time? She was very excited. You're going to read your book? What do the cows say? Blair, they say moo, moo. Get your book with your cows. Are you trying to say moo? Moo. She's trying. Oh, you want me to read it? Okay. So it is Monday the 15th. Lakeland just the, is the turtle watching the camera? Oh my gosh. Sorry, it's not focusing, but he's literally So anyway, Lakeland just gave him strawberries. He says he loves strawberries. Are you watching the camera? I don't know, is he? Coming over here. Nope, looking the opposite way. He's like, "Leave me alone. I'm trying to eat." Up. Down. <laughs> Do you have a name for your turtle, Lakeland? Did you name him? You didn't name him? Not yet. Oh, he's like, leave me alone. Okay, let's take a look at the last 24 hours. Actually, it hadn't been 24. I'm going to say more like uh, 19 hours of uh, Instagram stories I've put up. Do you follow us on Instagram? Yeah, so in one of our vehicles, we have to put at least plus in, so we kind of rotate plus and premium. Uh, yeah, hopefully you watched last week's weekly vlog where we kind of showed Brayden's, briefly, Brayden's new dog here. He is five years old. Tom and I were watching TV this evening. It wasn't even like 8.30 and he had fell asleep in my lap. As I head down the Saluda grade on this cloudy, drizzly day, it's like only 69 degrees in August. That's like really weird. Anyway, just want to say how much we appreciate you guys watching and supporting our channel. The revenue that we make on this channel uh, at, at this point basically helps Skylin um, her, her tuition for college. So that's uh, basically every cent goes towards her college education. So we want to say thank you very much. We really appreciate it when those of you that don't skip through the ads uh, because that helps with our revenue. So again, Thanks for being part of the World Win family. You can also help support the channel um, with Super Thanks. We have enabled that, and what that is is um, in the comment section. You can make a comment, Super Thanks it, and um, that comment will be highlighted. 
first time I've seen a Bucky's bumper sticker out and about. So that one is from Crossville, Tennessee, which opened last month, I believe. And remember, we're in North Carolina and we don't have any Bucky's here. So I think that's pretty cool. Two Bucky's. You know, Bucky's is like a tourist attraction in itself. Um <laughs> you haven't got very far in the packing. All you've basically done is made a mess. It's too hard. <laughs> this Remember is your... when I was packing for Mexico well, last year? I can already say my eyes. This is like oh, you were packing for Mexico at this time frame. I couldn't pack. I was crying. Which we still haven't I was crying because I didn't want to pack. Because I didn't know how. And we still haven't like you still haven't done the vlog explaining your trip yet. Like all your memories and things that happened. We still need to do that. See, this is my problem. When I have a bunch to do, I just can't do it. <laughs> but you should be a pro at this. This is your fourth year. That's why it's worse every year. Because, you know, like my first year, I was like ready to go. Like, well, you were really, really excited. Yeah, you were really excited. And it was really easy because you took everything. <laughs> She took so much stuff. Okay, well, since not much progress has been made, I progress. guess. Yeah, progress. Progress. It's like almost one o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. Um, how do you think I should take my clothes and my hangers? Well, we did it last year. We put them in the blue recyclable bags. No, but I'm worried about, because that's going to take up sp like, a lot of space in the car. Well, if you do it flat, if you keep the clothes flat it won't take as much space clothes? honey you don't need like the really cold stuff yet I mean, you can come you're you're coming back for Blair's birthday party so you can get the stuff then yeah I'm right he says I'm right <laughs> but you are you're coming back for the birthday party so you get the winter stuff then Or, and matter of fact, you don't even need it then because you're coming back for Thanksgiving this time. We're not going to Florida, so you'll you'll be home for Thanksgiving. You know, when I'm gone, who are you going to make fun of? Like how they talk and how they pronounce words. Who are you going to make fun of then? What did he say? He said him. Oh, him. <laughs> I'll make fun of myself. I do it like you do sometimes. Welcome to Wednesday, the 17th. Look at the Amazon truck convoy. So actually, that's not a lot. That was four. I've seen them as many as 10, 12, um, because we're not far from the Amazon uh, packing place. Here come two more, but actually, I've passed six more since the original ones I just showed you. All right, let's see how many is at this gas station this morning. One, two, three, three Amazon, two, oh, three, four, five Amazon, and a FedEx. Actually, I've seen as many as 20 there. Come here. Say, come here, dog. Why are you acting like you're afraid? He's not. She wants the doggy to come here. There we go. There you go. Gentle, gentle. He's got that thing on his nose. My dad had just finished cooking soup and walked out of the room and the dog had jumped up there to get the soup. Well, not even jumped, like put his paws up there to get the soup. And I came in and was like, what is going on? So I snapped a picture of it real quick before he cleaned it up. My mom is steam cleaning that carpet so Skylin can take it to her dorm room. Uh, the pile is growing larger. Let's go check on her progress. Do you think I should put stuff in this? Or do you think I should just... Because we could put things through You it. might as well... You, know yeah, I mean? you could put your shoes in it though. I would just put your shoes in it and then set it straight up in the vehicle. That's gonna hold all my shoes. Well, it won't hold all of them, but it'll hold a lot. Oh lord, cannot even find the sitting room at this point. 
Tom is our master car packer. Whether it be going on vacation, packing Skyland stuff for college, he just can get the most in uh, the most effective way. So Skyland and I are starting to bring out her stuff. Uh, Lakeland's at work, or he would be helping. And because she is heading off in the morning. Speaking of Skyland, I put up a video of her first trip back to Epcot in seven years on my personal channel, The Mouse Diva. Go check it out. I was coming down this road and then I saw this little play set, probably a Little Tykes, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to stop see what kind of condition it is. Um, that is something that uh, I would love to put in the backyard for Blair. I didn't get it. They were asking too much for it in the condition that it was in. Too much. Well, now that Skyline's left for school, we've taken over her bedroom, haven't we? Yeah. We've taken over her bedroom with your toys. Like, Skyline's, like, we wasted no time. Like, I have more toys to bring in here. But, like, Skyline is literally on the road to school right now. And I've heard he moved Blair's, some of Blair's stuff in here. It's just nice because I can just like close the door now that she's like more mobile, starting to walk. I can, we can, I can close the door and, or put at the baby gate and, uh, and she'll be contained in one room. Oh, tell everybody your experience with a spinal tab. Like, what did they do? Uh... I went into the room, I laid on my stomach, and then the doctor came in, and he rubbed some cold stuff on my back, or they took x-rays on my back to see exactly where they were going to do it, and he put cold stuff on my back, he figured out where he was going to put the needle, and then he put the needle on my back, and I guess it was the lidocaine. And he put it just a little bit in, and he let it sit, and then he put it further in, and let him... So the numbing stuff. Yeah, and okay. he kept going further and further until he was, like, pretty far in there. And then he took that out. And then he was saying he was putting in the needle, the actual needle to draw out the, the fluid. And I didn't even feel it go in until it got, I guess, through my spine. And it kind of, it didn't hurt really I could it was weird I didn't like I didn't have pain but I could feel it inside me. I could feel it moving and stuff Creepy. and it did not feel good and then uh, I could feel as soon as it went in the fluid like dripping down my back he took the vials and uh. started pulling them under and then I saw I looked oh. at how you doing? Huh? I looked at he they got like What's five that? vials worth and What's she showed the here? nurse showed me after. They're like this big and they're filled with fluid. And they're like it's just clear what? fluid. Just clear? Mm hmm And you have to lay on your back for twenty four hours. It can't climb stairs, right? Yeah, I just gotta lay here. I took a nap earlier. What else? Uh, and how long did all that take? Um like how long I think I was actually probably the actual thing took like Probably like 15 minutes. Oh. And then when are you supposed to get the results? I don't know. She said that I could get some results instantly and then I could get... Your boy can't breathe over here and you're, you're just talking to that one over there. And then I and then I could get results and depending on... Because he did... The doctor requests a whole bunch of different tests. So right. Apparently some can get here fast and some will take a few days. Oh. But I haven't heard anything from my doctor, so... Oh. It is Friday the 19th at the doctor's office with Lakeland. He's been having uh, some upper back pain, some um, difficulty in breathing. So we're going to have him uh, checked out today. We're in the space room, Lakeland.
Well, that was uh, different. So they took blood and Lakeland actually um, like almost passed out. You know, he got very nauseous, sweaty, um, pasty and cold and clammy. So they had to lay him back, gave him some pretzels. Um, they originally brought in a Sprite, but he doesn't drink soda. So they brought in a Capri Sun. And um, yeah, we think it was just because he hadn't felt like eating. He hadn't ate anything this morning. And granted, his appointment was at 9.15. And he didn't eat dinner last night because he didn't feel like eating. So he hadn't ate since like noon yesterday so we're thinking maybe that's what it was because he's never had that reaction before um he has said his lungs sounded fine so you know he said maybe he pulled a muscle at some point in his back because you know his back's been hurting and then the shortness of breath and so we'll just wait and see what happens and then we went right over because his allergy allergist is right next door to the pediatrician and it was basically time for another allergy shot and they opened up their walk-in cl clinic it used to be walk-in as long as we came um you know once every three within three weeks it was fine but then the what shall not be named happened and it went to only appointments and they finally opened it back up which was good because since we were here we just walked over and he got his allergy shot also so and now it's time he's going to go home rest up a little bit take some ibuprofen tylenol or something and uh he goes to work at noon and i'm on my way now that being said really glad it's friday and uh, there's a couple things we may do this weekend. We'll see. What are your weekend plans? Blair. Hi. What are you doing? Hey, darling. You want your vacuum? Oh, she has a vacuum now. Blair. Look at her just standing. Is that fun? You did it. Oh, clean. I see you. Look at her just standing. Oh, there she goes. Well, that is going to be a wrap for this week. Uh, Colby, Blair, Langley, my niece Chelsea, Megan, their foster daughter are all at the aquarium in, well, I don't know if it's actually Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg. I forget. But anyway, really big aquarium. And uh, the rest of us basically work today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, here's Chelsea uh, holding Blair up. She's looking pretty happy. Hope you subscribe. Follow along. All right, until next week, guys. So, so, we are getting done. Bags packed to a